Update now from Sheboygan. A tense standoff locked down a neighborhood and forced a school to cancel classes. Police arrested a man finally and gave the all clear just a few hours ago. Jonah Kaplan reports. Our cameras rolled as police fired tear gas three times in 90 minutes. There's no sound because we stood several blocks away. Sheboygan police camped outside this home for more than 12 hours, waiting for a 21-year-old gunman to surrender. His parents called police before they left the home unharmed. Different points in the evening, we tried to make contact with him through various methods, none, none of which were successful. Uh, we tried a PA system, we tried telephone calls into the house. Milwaukee police also sent a robot and armored vehicle. Officers eventually broke in and arrested the gunman without incident. Once the episode ended, we were able to move closer to the house right here. Take a look at the broken windows. That's how the police officers threw in the tear gas, threw in the phones. A lot of people, the neighbors here, talked about how this looked like something on TV. But this wasn't on TV. It was something all of them could witness in real life. They included 7th and 8th graders from nearby Farnsworth Middle School. I woke up in the morning and I look outside and out my window and I see these cops just patrolling down the street and I didn't know what to think. I just locked my doors. Many kids gathered afterwards to debrief this real life lesson on emergency response. Let's me just make sure everyone's safe and kind of happy that no one got hurt. Sheboygan police did not advise the school to close its doors for the remainder of the day, but police did call that a wise decision anyway because of the circumstances of what happened this morning. In Sheboygan, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. Thanks, Jonah. Police uh, do say they do not know if they'll recommend charges to prosecutors against the gunman since he may have a medical problem.